Hello everyone and welcome to a new play now today with a game called Steam Tactics, which is a game where you fight as a cloud of steam against a bunch of other clouds of steam using different tactics. It's not actually that. It's a um, it's a game made by um, someone called Igor Rashkuev. I think that that's how it's pronounced. And it's, uh, if you will, imagine if Star Fox, you know, the, the game with the uh, the furries, if that was a a, a turn-based strategy game. I th I, at least I think that's how I can describe it, because this, uh, this is a fox called Benedictus Maximus, and this... Uh, where's the other guy? Come on. And come on. And this is a frog. And I know that at least two of the characters in the Star Fox series were a fox and a frog. One called Fox Picard, and the other called uh, Flippy or something. Pepe, I don't know. They have different names. So, uh, what are you doing in this game? Well, we're gonna go to the bridge now because I just leveled up my characters and I'm gonna assign new skills to them. By the way, this game was released on Steam on the 13th of September and it's available right now for the price of just 12 euros. It's probably gonna be on sale soon if you're uh, wondering what kind of the big Steam sale is gonna be imminent, the uh, the winter one, the Christmas one. And to breeze, we can actually reset our skills if we, if we invest them in a way that we don't want to. So what should we do? We can put them into uh, these points into piloting, which will increase uh, our ship HP by 5 points and reduce the chance of being critically hit. Reflexes. Uh, primary stats for machine guns and Tesla guns. They give plus 1 damage to them. Secondary set for cannon and flamethrowers gives less damage. Also increases the chances of critical strike. Tech savvy does uh, oh, it increases the damage output of other types of weapons like flamethrower and torpedo launchers and uh, to a lesser extent uh, acid guns and machine guns. Acid guns in the air. My God! I hope the people underground are not well. We, we're not fighting underground. We're actually fighting uh, somewhere um, up in uh, the air. So let's increase piloting a bit. And what guns did I have on this guy? Uh, I don't believe I had anything actually. Yeah, I think reflexes would be the wise choice. For William, well, yeah, I think I'm gonna increase his, his woods further. And some more piloting. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, skills set. As you can see there's not there's no actual ground uh, beneath them so it's okay for the S to fall down it'll just kill some fish I'm guessing or whether things lay in the uh, the void the ether between the this, uh, these islands let's go to the workshop here you can buy equipment sell equipment upgrade equipment do other stuff actually I think you can only buy and sell equipment I don't think you can actually uh, it, it, you can actually buy and sell them you do get a lot of equipment from uh, various uh, no, you just upgrade them. Okay, so what should I upgrade? You get equipment, by the way, from uh, hangar. I guess my hangar. So which one isn't? Okay, this one doesn't have stuff equipped to it. Empty. Let's equip a bulldog to the north wind. Now you can see that this there is a pattern here. This means that at the center, this is my ship, and this is where the weapons will fire. Again, this, these weapons you find throughout the game when you complete several missions. And uh, these cannot fire in any other place other than this. So it's a good idea to have weapons that have different attack patterns. See, this one will attack right in front and behind and to the side. And this one is a bit more to the side. So it'll have a very, very neat mesh of uh, attack possibilities. But as you can see, adding... A weapon see this is movement 3 adding a weapon will make the ship heavier and therefore move slower you can also upgrade the ship to uh, have better um, capabilities in terms of uh, weight distribution and uh, yeah, what do you call it um, where's the workshop and hit points see weight and also when you upgrade the um, the, the quality of weapon it does increase in the uh, both damage and weight, so it's uh, you, you can upgrade these, these indefinitely and still hope to have the same balance of weapons without any sort of downsides. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I think it's a uh, sort of a good idea for balancing out things. Can't upgrade any of these ships, so let's uh, just go into the combat -y stuff. 
did that. Let's go to here. Okay. Uh, enemy level 3. Uh, mission difficulty. I can't unlock higher difficulties unless I beat them first, which is... I don't always like this. Like, let me try them on the max difficulty first and see if I if I can do them like that. And if not, I'll go, I'm going to turn it down. Otherwise, just leave it at that. This is one of the enemies of the game. Her name is uh, Silva Thistlethorn. She's a cat. Pirate. And this is the... Uh, on my characters, so I gotta say, I'm not really all that interested in the story. I think that you're on some mission to do something for some baron or some queen or something. I wasn't really paying attention, but here you can see the um, the attack pattern of your weapons and the movement pattern of your uh, of your ship. Now I have to find a way to get into position in such a way that I will deal maximum damage to those around me. And one thing I like about this game is that position does not um, is not just about that, about where you put your ship to attack best. It's where you put your ship to not be attacked, even within your own turn. If you remember games like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, there is a retaliation uh, component in, the, in those games, and it's here as well. And I have to find a way so that I position myself outside of these See, I, if I position myself here, for example, and I shoot at this guy, he will then be able to counterattack during my turn and hit me as well. But I will be able to do the exact same thing, so it's in my interest to find a way to not be there. So this looks like a good place, and from there I'm gonna attack this guy. Yeah, that looks like it'd be good. And attack. Voila, 18 damage, and yeah, okay, I, I did get hit back. See, I've, I was looking more at this guy, and yeah, even here I could have been, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be hit by this guy here, but because I have uh, this big cannon here, this guy's gonna take a licking when I get back there. Let's see, I could try and focus more on these guys and maybe take this one out in, in a single turn. Yeah, I think I should do that. I can move my guy, see... Uh, two squares, I can move them here, and this guy will not be able to attack me at all. But I do believe... No, wait. I do believe this guy can attack me. And we'll see. I think this guy can attack me this turn. See? We're in the same range, and... Oh! You actually get double uh, counterattack. So it's an unlimited counterattack. Well, that makes things actually kind of easier. Let's see, let's attack him this way. If I attack him this way, he's gonna counterattack. So I'm gonna attack with my guy first. Okay, he... Yeah, he's uh, equipped all the brim with all sorts of stuff, so no. Th that was no good place to be. Let's see what these guys are gonna do. They're gonna go for this guy. Hit him hard. And I crit it back when I attacked, and yeah, I attacked them both. Uh, and it's probably gonna kill him. Yes, it did, so no counterattack. This will not kill this guy. Uh, one thing I'm not sure exactly is how I... Oh yeah, I just click on him again. Okay, when I'm in range, I'm not sure exactly what I can do to actually... Okay, I have to unclick this character. So I... I uh, no, 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 no. Unclick, unclick. So they don't have any ability to contract here. Okay. I'm gonna move here, and from here I'm gonna attack. This will do damage and I'm protected. He's gonna have to move and then attack and maybe still be in my range, and yes, he was. Now, I did take quite a lot of damage. But still, I uh, I did the do. I've done the do. To be fair, I'm starting to enjoy these encounters. I've always wanted to become a hero and fight pirates. So I do something, 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 heroes, villains, I... And uh, they're, they're, they're nicely drawn. It's completely steady, but it's... Uh, I don't care. Okay, here we have the merchant. Here we can actually buy and sell stuff. Well, let's see. Aerial coming for dummies. This will reset to my skill points. This is the uh, rusty stuff I can use to upgrade things. I can actually upgrade my ships now. Let's see. Should I upgrade the ship? Yeah, let's upgrade the Iron Moth. That's a good thing. It's not a Crimson Hawk Moth. <laughs> That's for you. Uh, I forgot the name of it, didn't I? It's one of those super duper very good anime shows on Netflix. Nice Estonia, yeah, that, that was it. We're hoping season 3 comes out soon. 
Okay, I've got a run out of minions. Okay, so I'm probably gonna fight this character now as a uh, as a boss. Okay, that that should actually be something good. Well, let's let's meet face to face, resolve the conflict. Okay, this will probably be a boss fight. I'm guessing this is the boss. Okay, that's a lot of weapons, and yeah, those are those are flamethrowers. Those indeed are flamethrowers. So let's try and get a bit closer, but not too close. I'm gonna spread out a bit. And it's it's auto enter, and if you oh that hurt, and uh, 19 damage. That's uh, I think maybe on high difficulty levels the enemies have more HP. I think that's how it works. Okay, so this one has no range on me, so I can just move in like a bee and kick him in the face. And I can stay here and quang this guy over the head move forward, get hit by this guy, or just try and uh, remain here. I'm gonna remain here and shoot at him again. Mm, this is... okay, the flamethrower wasn't that, that difficult. Let's shoot them. Uh, if I move here to get this guy, I'll be in range of him. So I'm basically in, in this guy's range, whatever I do. Once I move up, uh, deselect. Okay, I can actually select them in time to time. I'm safe there. I should save here. I think I... Well, no, if I actually go there, I won't be able to hit any of them. And they won't be able to hit me either. Um, on the other hand, if I go up here, I should be able to hit this guy. Voila! You know, considering that this is on a turret, why can't it just shoot in every direction? Like, if it was a fixed type of situation with a limited amount of, uh, you know, uh, directions it can actually go, yeah, that would have made more sense. So I can move here and then from here kick this guy in the face. Voila! Your turn, my enemy. One damage. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of crappy damage. Actually, go down here. Okay, I have 22, and that deals 12. And I'm not dead. Gonna have to go kill him now. And bam. Okay, that's good. And the last one left. He did nothing. He just stood there, ac accepting his fate and uh, praying to his gods and hoping that the end comes swiftly. And mercifully, it will not be swift and merciful. It will be the opposite. Let's move. Can okay, yeah, here. And bam. Not really difficult, but again, it's it's the lowest difficulty. Would have appreciated being able to set the eyes, eyes difficult from the get-go so it'll be more engaging from the get-go and I won't have to repeat missions because I hate repeating and I got a new character. Cool. I accept your victory. Tell us who hired you. Sure, but one condition take me to okay, yeah, I'm gonna take on a team, sure. Don't cooperate with pirates. Besides, why would you join us? Uh, be content with me failing, so if not, you're gonna kill me, retire pirates, something, something, thistle, something, need information, blah de blah de blah It's not that I don't like the story, I just don't care. It's It, it looks like they have the skip button there for a reason. Like to, to a certain extent, they don't care either. Okay, we have more skill points, more HP to the ship, and let's max that thing. Well, it's not a max at 10, it's just 10 points, they can go even higher. Uh, what's Patty's shtick? Let's see. What does the pirate do with a hornet? Flaming and bulldog. That's all. Why is this guy selected? He doesn't have skill. Po oh no, he does have five skill points. So I missed him. And that should do it. Party. Uh, let's go to the Ooh, we have a dog now. Here is Maximus. He's a German sh he's a German Shepherd. That was a sort of a Scottish German I cannot do a German accent, I don't know why. 
I absolutely have no idea why I cannot do a German accent properly. Something, something illegal, I'm a dog, woof woof, barky park. Probably gonna do just this mission and be done with it because th this is sort of the entire game. It's It may get some more weapons, but uh, environmental effects don't seem to be all that uh, important in this game, so it's uh, it's kind of static. It's nice, but it's not really eh. You know what? It's not really eh. It's more eh. I'm just gonna enter in here because I don't think they have enough range. To, okay, they do have enough range to actually get to me. They they seem quite fast and capable of standing in a straight line quite well and dying. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna move down here. Shoot this guy. Shoot him. Oh, he's not dead. And he countered. The bastard countered. Now, since I do have two weapons, and I evidently can use them both, why can't I chain these shots? Like hit this guy and that guy. Maybe there's an upgrade for that. It'll, I don't know, unlock multi target tracking. That's what you had in uh, Space Empires, where you could track multiple targets and fire at multiple enemies in a single turn with uh, the weapons you would not be using on one uh, target. Let's get this guy. Better make the game even more tactical to a point. Bam. And dead. Ooh, they do have cannons, which is nice. I mean, those do deal quite a lot of damage. Just like that does. Maybe I should move here. Yeah, and from here I'm gonna torpedo him. No, wait, that wasn't a torpedo. Was this the cannon? Yeah, this was. Okay, it's not dead yet. And neither am I. Cool. It's, um. It's a nice enough game, honestly. It's. Uh, yeah, no, it's just the first couple of levels, and I. I don't really feel the need to play more of it. it. It sort of tops out. Like, the combat isn't all that. I mean, the, the, the fact that you need to put them in a certain formation, yeah, that gives a bit of, a bit of an extra layer of tactics to it, but it's... Eh, it's not super duper ultra. I'm gonna try this on a higher difficulty. Maybe that'll, that'll cheer me up. Skip dialogue. Woohoo! Let's see. Ooh, they do have bigger ships this time. So this time I'm gonna try and move towards them or at least make a sort of a trap. And turn. Yes, ooh, 36 damage. That's a lot of damage. And they have 218 HP. And the all, yeah. This game's not made to be played instantly on a higher difficulty level on a kind of you're good at tactics. It's uh, it's replay this after you have a certain amount of skills to grind more equipment to get better skills and better ships, and it's it's the worst way to do difficulty. One of the worst ways possible to do difficulty. Dealt one damage. Yeah, no. Um, it's. <sighs> I like certain aspects of it, but honestly, it's I, I don't think it's really worth your time unless you're really, really into this kind of tactics. I mean, again, conceptually, I like the positioning aspect of it. Not really crazy about anything else in it at all. I'm gonna see you again soon with a new play now with something called uh, it's on Steam somewhere around here. I'm gonna well, you're gonna see it tomorrow anyway, so it's not gonna be a big wait for the su or a surprise or anything so uh, stick around stay tuned and have a good time goodbye